If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the brand new Saturday Legends, going over a few things I do want to note and mention going on in this upcoming week as well, guys. But before we do get into this video and go through all the new Saturday Legends as well as the LTDs, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And of course, if you need any coins, head down below to my sponsor and use code Poodle at checkout so you guys can get the extra discount, which you don't really want to miss out on, of course, when you are paying actual money. It is always nice to go ahead and get a nice discount. But nonetheless, guys, let's get into this. So let's head on over to the new sets, guys. That's always the best place to start. When you want to see anything new, head on over to set. Like if you know, if you know for a fact something came out, head to sets. When the sets are live, that pretty much means content's live, or go to the missions tab, that's usually the best bets. Now, a few things I do want to note here. Right. Um, Make sure you are playing your legend solos because I feel like a lot of people are kind of missing out on some of those legend solos or forgetting. It's going to take a while to catch up on all those solos that you did go ahead and like skip for weeks. And of course, it's always the risk of them like just removing the first half and going forward with the rest. I'd highly recommend you guys go play those because remember, if you do go ahead and play those uh, legend solos at a specific week when the boss legend set is finally complete, you will go ahead and get a free boss legend, which is super cool. I mean, it's a free player for just doing some solos. And a lot of the times, you guys probably look for something to do. So it's nice to just knock out the solos. Typically, guys, like, you ever wake up early in the morning, you have nothing to do, like, you have, like, 45 minutes, you want to, like, use some game time on it, you don't, but it's not the time to start a head-to-head -head game, that's when you like to fill those souls out, just knock out some things that I want to waste, I don't want to waste that 45 minutes, I just want to get into something, do something, that's the time for me, usually, guys, and also, before we head into the sets, if you guys didn't already know, I partnered with Underdog Fantasy, one of the best, if not the best, daily fantasy apps, I love, absolutely love playing daily fantasy on there, as well as the pick em and the player props, it's, it's just, it's, it's a really fun experience, super easy to use, guys, and, they did hook me up with the code, so if you guys do sign up on Underdog Fantasy, it's an app, and you guys use code Poodle, you will get up to a free $100 match deposit, which is just super awesome, which means you can pretty much have fun playing some D DFS on their money without using your own, right? Like, you don't have to actually spend your money. Can you spend their money? And if you use my code, of course, that's how you get that. And there will be a link down below in the description as well as the code. Everything will be described there, so check that out. And yeah, if you guys need help with any of that on Twitter or down below in the comments, I'm open DM-wise and comment-wise, so hit me up. But yeah, let's head over to Sets. Let's check out the Legends. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we go over to Legends, subcategories two, as per usual. Players, we have Willie McGinnis and Jim Kelly. You know, Jim Kelly is an interesting one. Bills, quarterback, a legend, right? Willie McGinnis and Patriots legend. I think even sometimes he gets outside linebacker. That's kind of always been the thing with ends, though. Ends and outside linebackers and Madden are just, like, always interchangeable. They either they get one or the other, right, or they get switched around a lot. That's just kind of something that's always been going on. Now, the, for these sets, guys, of course, they're 93s. So we've had 93s for one week, two weeks, three weeks. So if we go off the pattern here, 92, 92, 92. So it looks like every three is when we get the upgrade. So it's looking like 94 overall base next week. That means 94 LTDs next week as well. So that's pretty cool. So the sets still remain the same. You got the five pieces, 1991, 1992. I believe these were the Bills uh, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl year. They won like four years in a row and lost four straight times, something like that. Oh, the Thurman Thomas years, you know, those kind of, those years, I'm pretty sure that's what, what, what this, uh, Jim Kelly is from, right? I'm pretty sure I wasn't alive in the nineties. I didn't watch them, but I have watched a ton of uh, football life on like ESPN or any, the football network and all that stuff. So let's get you got the stats guys. Now, quick recommendation for packs. Do not open them. Packs are just never a good idea. Coins are just a much better value at this point. They're like in the first week or so of the game or the first month, I understand the frequency of buying packs because it's like packs are actually a pretty decent value because you're, you're able to pull like some crazy expensive cards at the time. And like every base elite sells and every gold sells for like three to four K. Every base elite sells even some golds like 20K. Some base elites can go for 150, 200K. The top ones go for 400K. And you know, it's just like a great time. But at this point in the year, when if you pull, if you have a typical pack opening, right? Like back in the day, like you pull a base elite 87 and a base elite 84 and some 83s and maybe a high 89. If you get one of those pack openings, you're leaving here with less than like a few hundred K and you spent what you could have bought 2 million coins worth on my sponsor. So just make sure you guys do take advantage of that. Uh, program Legends. So let's go filter out here and let's see what we're dealing with. We got the Broderick Thomas. We got all this stuff up. William McGinnis is already down to 780 K. I guess that's not, that's not cheap, but he is towards the bottom, which is a weird development there let's check out the 94 overall jim kelly card i'm excited to see what this card looks like 81 speed now that's a good speed and he's a strong arm qb interesting interesting 81 speed on a strong arm qb that is really good 94 throw power 94 throw short 91 medium action 91 deep 94 throw under pressure with 88 throw on the run 80 94 plaques if that throw on the run had hit 90 i'd be so excited right now but this card is really good 
He's going to be an elite pocket passer, elite arm strength with pretty good, like with above average, like great speed. That's great. 81 speed is great speed, right? I would say 80, 81 to 85, 86 speed ish is great speed. I would say 86 to 90 ish is about like insane speed. And then like, you know, anything 90 to 100 is like extremely elite. Like anything in that area is just elite, but he's going to have great, that's great speed. 81's run away. He can run. He can move. He can make the plays. And honestly, when you're below like 87, 88 speed, you're not trying to outrun ends or anything. That's like when you just take off, like when they're, they're rushing two and there's an open pocket or the whole pocket collapses to one side or you run four verts. Like you take it off in open space anyway, so the speed doesn't matter too much. You just need to get from here to the first down. 81 can do that. Now, you're not, like I said, you're not trying to outrun ends and scramble to the sideline instantly. So I don't think that's a problem. That speed's perfect. He's a strong arm, which means he should get gunslinger. This card's going to be good. This is a really, really good QB card. He has 80, 79 carry because it can't be powered up just yet. 81 change of direction. I mean, like, these are pretty good cards. Break sack's a little low, 75, but at the end of the day, it's not like they consistently break sacks anyways. That's like a stat that you get, like, maybe once every other game. It's really not something too important. Break tackle 73 it is what it is. He's six foot three, 217. This card looks good. It's, a good, it's, it's like a complete elite pocket pass with Gunslinger that can also scramble. Probably one of the more meta QBs in the game at this point. Considering the way that people like to play this game, I imagine he's going to be a pretty elite card. Willie McGinnis. It's on his face there. It's kind of weird. Anyways, Willie McGinnis attributes, right hand speed rusher, 91 speed, 90 excel. Okay, so a speed, elite, 90 strength, elite, 94 tackle, elite, 93 play rec, elite, 94 block shed, elite, 81 power move is subpar, but remember, we were used to this. You typically don't get both unless you're like a Lawrence Taylor, one of those guys. 94 finesse move, elite. He's an elite speed rusher elite with an elite run stuffing ability as well with elite tackling elite strength six foot five 270 83 agility is pretty good for him too 85 jumping 65 catching like if you put him into his own he might catch a ball there 79 change of direction 93 impact blocking his hit power 90 hit power 77 press so that's interesting right because have you ever been on an end right and they're in like some formation and you know that they're gonna try to see me. Like you're, you're like a two, you're like in a two, four, five, a gap, right? Or, or two nickel double a gap. And you're trying to get that insta sack or something. And you know, or some, just for instance, right? You know that they're gonna try to see me. So you trick them into thinking that the seam's gonna be open. That's what they do. They seam the tight end. And you go to your right end, right? And he's really fast. And you click on A and you try to man them up on that tight end right over the right over him. So he'll he'll stick with him instantly. And they're trying to quick throw it. So I'll throw him off for the sack. I feel like William uh, William McGinnis will be pretty good at doing that because he has the speed. And the hit power and the press. So it's not like he'll get instantly shedded off either. He may, with, a with a certain tight end, he might actually stay with him. Just pretty interesting, interesting development there as well. But guys, that's about it for the video. That does cover pretty much the, you know, the two legends that I want to go over. We have some pretty fun upcoming stuff, guys. The, the Autumn Blast promo, the Thanksgiving stuff is going to be coming out pretty soon. I mean, not like, you know, maybe not this week, but we're, we're getting near there. We're going to, you know, then there's the Blitz. So maybe surprise NFL 100, my tank type of stuff. Then we got the curse coming. Like we have a lot, we have a lot of stuff coming out. I'm super excited for my. It's gonna be a really fun time period. The holidays are always fun in real life, let alone the virtual world, right? It's gonna be fun. But yeah, guys, better for the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you need coins, head down below to my sponsor. Always use code Poodle. And if you guys want to try out Underdog Fantasy, hit me up on Twitter or down below if you guys have any questions. Or if you guys know what you're doing, just head down below to the link and use code Poodle at checkout or when you're signing in, right? Or use my link as well. I like to use both just to be safe. And you'll get the uh, the match offered by using code Poodle. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.